Welcome everyone to Banana Bread Trades. My name is Goose and in today's video I'm going to show you how to download and install the option strike price indicator for Quan Tower. Now first things first I would like to say thank you Noel for making this indicator. I've been doing this manually for quite some time now and I also have this indicator on Thinkorswim but I have not had one for Quan Tower yet and Noel went ahead and made us this indicator for Quan Tower, so he has saved me a whole bunch of time for the future, basically. So thank you, Noel. What is this? Well, we all know that the futures are a derivative of the options chain. So for this example right here, this is the NASDAQ futures. This is a derivative of QQQ. So what we're basically doing here is we're showing you where those QQQ option strike prices are relative to the futures contract. And this is helpful because they do track one another. So if you know that QQQ is going to have some support or resistance around certain strike prices, you can now see that on your futures chart and trade accordingly. As you can see today, there was quite a bit of support and resistance going on around those strike prices. And if you have any sort of indicators or software like Rocket Scooter that show you what strike prices have certain, you know, calls or puts weighted on them, can really be helpful in determining how to trade during the day. So let's go ahead and just show you here how to install, put this indicator on, and use it during the day. First step that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go up to this little cog wheel at the top of your Quan Tower. Go over here, look all the way at the bottom, and make sure Use Beta Version is selected. Exit out of that. Come up here to the Quan Tower symbol at the top left. Look all the way down here and make sure that there is not an update available. You need at least version 1.132 to be able to use this indicator. I believe that's when the net seven um, update came through. So you need to be able to have that update to use this indicator. So just make sure you're updated and everything's good. So we can now exit out of that and we're going to want to go to our Discord. And I'll have this link down below. It's free, don't worry. It's just where we all talk and kind of organize our information every single day. Be aware, the name changes every single week. Sometimes we're Wendy's, sometimes we're Chick-fil-A. Right now we're Tito's. It's fun. Come hang out, talk. Lots of cool traders there. But what you're going to want to do is scroll down to the trading education section and find Null's indicators right here. So you're going to click on that. And what we've done is we've pinned all of his made indicators. So click the little pin tab, scroll down, and click on this strike to futures zip file and download that what you're also going to want to download is go back to here click on this futures convert excel and you don't need to have excel you can use google sheets as well but just click download on that as well so once your strike to futures is downloaded you're going to want to copy it and then we're going to go to our quant tower folder wherever you have it saved, go to settings, go to scripts, go to indicators, and then you're gonna to wanna to paste that strike to futures file in here. Make sure it's out of its zipped folder and it's just in its regular folder. But then once that's in there, we can then close out of Quantower, close out of these files. Then you can open Quantower back up and you should have this indicator. But there is one more step. Because the futures and the options chain are not the same, you will have to also update this little conversion factor. Because with volatility, you know, QQQ may not move as much as the futures. But that's why we downloaded that Excel. It makes it super simple to be able to just put the conversion factor in every day. Because the settings for this are relatively simple. You can just change the color, right? You can change the color of the lines of the strike prices, and then you have to put in this ETF to futures ratio. So when you download that Excel, you can open it up in Google Sheets or Excel, whatever you wanna do. What you're gonna wanna do is find the same time on QQQ, 
and in queue, I usually go two hours before open. Not a lot of volatility there. You can pull your in queue opening price and your QQQ opening price for that candle, whatever time you choose to pull it. Make sure it's the same time for both in queue and QQQ. Put those prices in. So for today, it was 15,365, two hours before open. And on QQQ, two hours before open, the price was at 370.37. Put that in. And then the factor you get for this indicator is 41.4855. So remember that number. Go over here to Quant Tower and put in that factor right here. And then these lines should be equal to where we are at on the options chain. So that's all there is to it. It's really helpful if you have tools like Rocket Scooter or using Bookmap or something like that to really see the liquidity. I know there's a lot of different ways people trade options. So like I said, whatever you want to do, use it how you want to use it. I'm not telling you how to trade, but I find it's really helpful to have the options chain on my futures chart. So yeah, that's basically all there is to it. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Again, thank you, Noel, for making this indicator. Please like, comment, subscribe, join the Discord, come hang out, and yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one.